Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the two best drills for perfect connection in your golf swing. All right guys, let's talk about my two best drills for perfect connection in your golf swing. Now, this video is really for all of you guys who want more connection in your golf swing. I have two excellent drills, the two drills that I use the most in person that will help you guys. Now first, when we talk connection, we have to talk about why you would get disconnected in the first place. Now when we talk about disconnection in the golf swing, to me, almost all of it really stems from a lack of body motion. So when I see a lot of players get disconnected during the backswing, meaning arms away from their body, when I see a lot of players get disconnected, meaning their elbows separating during the backswing or forward swing, I can almost always take that back to a root cause of they simply don't turn on either side. That's probably 80, 90% of it. They don't turn. Even if you feel like you turn enough, most people who are disconnected do not turn and or use their body properly, turning and tilting. What I want to focus on today is the turn part first. And what I'll always start someone out with when I'm having them start to learn how to be connected and how to use their body is a tour striker smart ball. Martin Chuck, again, I say all the time, the guy's always three steps ahead of me with training aids, made this tour striker ball. I would use this with the little rope here around. And I use this with people first for them to learn how to use their body. Now, um, we've done videos before and you can use a towel for it is fine, but sometimes the towel to me gets too restrictive and I see it hurt as much as help. So I really like the tour striker ball. The point of the tour striker ball when you set this up, obviously you got this little deal around my neck here. And we'll have the link in the description down below if you guys want to um, purchase this. I put the tour striker ball just underneath my elbows. Okay, the higher up on my arms it goes, the harder it is, the lower it goes. You're cheating a little bit and it's not that hard. I like to go just underneath the elbows. And the baseline point, if I don't even have a club here, is for me to keep this moving and make an actual swing, I have to now turn my body in both direction for me to keep my arms together. We did a video early this year on the most efficient way to swing a golf club, and we featured the tour striker ball there too, but I wanna talk a little deeper with that. So when I put the ball in, I have to turn more. Now what I want you to focus on really is, is your core, right? Or your belly for some of you guys, bigger belly, some smaller. I want you to feel like your stomach starts to turn back. Maybe even get a little uncomfortable and turn a little more than you can. And the same thing on the way through. The first step, so you getting more connection is learning to turn. So how I like to start is I'll put this in underneath my arms and I'll make a couple swings with an eight iron or a nine iron. And I'm just getting a sense of my body turning back and body turning through. Now notice, <clears throat> excuse me, when I'm doing this, I'm going about half swings and I'm going about half speed. And a lot of you guys are gonna put this in and be like, oh, that's all I can go. No, you can only go there because you didn't turn at all, okay? Keep your hips turning keep your stomach turning, keep your shoulders turning, and then you can get some more length there in the backswing. And then I would start to hit with it, and I would start short. I've got an eight iron that I'd probably hit about 100 yards, halfway back, halfway through. And again, I'm feeling the turn. And what is the turn doing this? Is it's keeping me connected. Now this part of it is keeping me connected <clears throat> with my elbows staying close together, but it's also gonna keep me connected in terms of my arms and my body and keep my arms in front of my body. So if I'm gonna do that same thing, grab a feel here, halfway back, halfway through, and turn my body. For me, that feels like I need to make a little bit more of a turn during the backswing for me to be able to do this. So I'll just get a feel for that. As always, when I'm doing this, I'm checking this with a live view, I'm checking this with a video, a mirror, to confirm my feels. Getting some belly turn going back, keeping my elbows close together, and then I'm starting to hit. Now, the connection with this obviously keeps my elbows close together. And the benefit of that is really keeping my arms, you know, this is gonna be overly simplistic, but basically keeping my arms in front of my chest for the whole swing is kind of the dumbed down version of this. So if I keep my arms together, my elbows close, my arms stay in front of my body during my entire swing. If I make a swing and this falls apart, my arms can get stuck behind my body or they can go too far out and up in this direction. So this is where I like to start people, the tour striker ball. At minimum, when you guys practice, if you follow our perfect practice routine, 
you know that I always suggest there be a portion of your practice that's mechanical, usually the second portion of it. Even for those of you that like your swing, you notice a lot of tour players using that tour striker. You can use it just as regular maintenance practice, right? Even though your swing might be good, can it be better with that? Can it be more connected? Can you be tighter? Can you hit your short arms closer to the hole? Can your distance control get a little bit better? Probably can, right? So I would recommend that tour striker for most everybody, unless you like to be a little bit separate at the top. So that's part number one, drill number one, more connected. Drill number two, all you need is an alignment rod, probably a couple cents at your local hardware store type of deal. And what you do with this, and I've seen people do this for a while, and this is not an Eric drill, but you put the alignment rod underneath your trail arm or your right arm, right underneath your armpit. And I put it where the majority of the stick is sticking in the front part, and this is a connection drill, and it's really two-part connection. Some of you guys might keep your elbows pretty close for part of it, and then you really go too far during your backswing, you get too long and loose at the top. That's part of what this is for, I'll explain in a minute. And it's also to keep your right armpit close to your body. Okay, when you swing, to have connection, if I keep my armpit and my upper arm close to my body, it really forces me to turn my right shoulder through, you guys know, like, or know that I like that, and continues to turn the rotation. Really good for what? Everything. Handle forward, dynamic loft, contact, you name it, face control. So it's twofold. How it works is like this. Put it in your right armpit like so, most of it's sticking out the front. Again, not your whole arm on your body, just your upper arm and armpit area. Now when I make a backswing, this stick is gonna hit my left arm when I get to about parallel to the ground. Now, is this a little too short for a full swing? Yes, but for those of you that go too long, it'll be a good reminder, and when you hit it with speed, you're gonna go a little bit farther than it anyway. <clears throat> so this will hit your stick, it keeps your backswing shorter, and then it's gonna keep my right shoulder moving because my right arm is connected to my body on the way through. So this is really an excellent sort of two for one drill, plus that's a three for one, it's a good, good day, good deal for you guys. So I'm gonna make a backswing, kind of feel that and demonstrate. Left arm to the stick, good, I'm nice and short in front of my chest, right shoulder through. And I'll kind of do a couple of those just to get a feel. Again, what am I doing when I'm doing this to confirm I'm doing it right? Feedback, okay, I've got a live view, I've got a phone. I'm gonna say that about 100 times in every video until you guys start to do it. And then I'm gonna hit some. What am I gonna hit with? What kind of club? Probably a short iron. I'm gonna go about half swing and about 50% speed. Hit my arm, right side through, awesome connection. Good. And I combine both of those feels. For me, the tour striker ball makes me feel like I have to turn my body a little bit more going back. For me, this feels like my right side and my right side bend really are my oblique and pec really turn through better than normal. For all of you guys during the downswing that get this sort of look, this is a nice way to, to get out of that. So I'll do a couple of those, monitor the feedback, kind of get a feel good right in front of me. For some of you, it's gonna feel like a little chip shot compared to your normal swing. Get my right side turning through. Let's go ahead and do one more of those. Good. And this for me as a drill, because I tend to have my right side stall out. It feels really good, so I'm gonna do one more. So back to my arm, right side turns through. Nice little connection drill. Good, and that feels really, really solid. So, Tour Striker, smart ball, okay? Link is in the description down below. Stick, link is not in the description down below. You gotta get that yourself. I would combine these two together. If you've been chronically disconnected, this is gonna be a little bit more um, intense for some of you. If it feels like you can't do it, you're probably not turning your body. Understand that no body turn and tilts usually cause these problems. Combine these two together. If you're looking for more connection, start short and slow. Changing your swing is not a process. If it's not perfect on your first session, that shouldn't dictate whether you do it or not. Make a decision to do it, stick with it. Um, come to our live Q and A's, ask me a question, whatever I can help you guys. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Hey guys, if you like today's video, please do me a favor, click the like button down below. Click the notification bell if you haven't. Also, please subscribe. Another reminder, cagornogolf.com is in the link in the description down below. If you guys want more instruction from me tailored for you, go ahead and check out the link below. Thank you guys.